It's Madden NFL 24, and we've got a showdown in the NFC West. It's the Niners and the Cards, and it comes your way next. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one in the NFC. As it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. Uh, CD, big changes underfoot here in the desert for 2023. Most notably, new coaching staff. But I guess change seems inevitable when you come off a 4-13 and season, does it not? Absolutely. I think you're perfectly on track with that. And I think some of the change is going to be on offense where they were a little more wide open. But now, a bit more buttoned up, I would anticipate. And on defense, head coach, that's his background. I think he's going to throw a lot of different things at teams trying to keep his team in contention. Then for the visiting 49ers, you know, they're exciting on the offensive side of the ball, but it's the defense that really provides a lot of stability. They were second by a whisker to the Bills in total defense a year ago. And they have all pro caliber players at all three levels, all capable of taking over a game. Now the big leg of Matt Prater ready to get this one started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. The Niners offense set to go to work and it's last year's revelation Brock Purdy who leads him out in season number two from Iowa State. And you'd think as a young QB there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game but haven't seen any sign of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sense that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. Call it no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down now. That time on the outside, pretty nice job as a cornerback to shed any would-be blockers and make the tackle. And think about the praise we're giving him, what his coaches are giving him, but how about the respect he gets from his teammates to be a complete corner who doesn't just cover receivers, but also tackles ball carriers. Purdy. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. are up against a third and five. Purdy now to throw. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Niners first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. One well, of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game. That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Second and seven. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. Muscles him off. Oh, an absolutely filthy joke. He's got some space now. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. Plays like that will really help this offense settle in here on the road. And when you go on the road, you also have to deal with the fans as well. And when you have those types of runs, that'll settle them back into their seats. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. From the 35, here's second down and one. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. 
And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 26. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. On first down, Purdy. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go that sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared. That'll be caught by Ayuk. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk from 21 yards away. And the 49ers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. On paper coming in, you'd say that these guys are the better team by far, and they sort of showed their superiority there on the opening drive. Yeah, they came in the heavy favorite in this game, and even though they're on the road, they just still got just wiped it away, didn't they? They've just said to everyone, we're the better team. We just showed it to you on this opening drive, and we expect to do it all game long. Moody good with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. Now Greg Dorch going to bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Well, the Cardinals offense set to take over for the first time, and they are piloted by their fifth-year quarterback, two-time Pro Bowler as well, Kyler Murray. Drafted with the idea that he'd be one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the NFL when he put it all together. We've been seeing that progress throughout his career. This guy's legs, we knew they were phenomenal. Arm, top notch. But now we're seeing his mind come into the game. Reed's defense is better and better each and every week and is showing patience as a passer as well. Not as eager to exit the pocket, finding guys downfield for bigger plays. Now a second and 10. Murray now. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. No surprise there. Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. But you know it's never easy to get Kyler Murray down to the ground and to do it with a sack on their first drive. What a great tone setter defensively. Oh, and no one's celebrating more than the defensive coordinator because that's all he's preached all week long. Keep him hemmed in. Don't let him get into the open field and create big plays with his feet. To get him down in the pocket early, oh, that's got to feel great for them. Now that last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot, third and long. They'll set up to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. Nick Bosa providing a little deja vu back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive, then you get a big sack there on third down, and you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. And he'll take it on this side of midfield. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And the Niners set up well. They take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice in meetings talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held him to an okay game. 
And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. But there is a certainty in this game. We know that wherever he goes, he's going to draw a big-time crowd. Throws in a double coverage there. And look, that's something that he's going to have to deal with a lot in this game, I'm sure. Yeah, they were lucky to get away with that one where it just fell incomplete. But they're going to count on him to uncover late in routes and make some difficult catches. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. No surprise to see a sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up, and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. Purdy's throw complete here to Ayuk. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Tackle made there by Buda Baker. Second down and six now. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there. Said not so fast to a good drive. Then march to the end zone the last time out. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Back to throw, Purdy. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And this one is right through, and that will extend their lead even further. So a touchdown on their opening drive and three more here, and it adds to their first quarter lead. Yeah, everything's going according to plan so far because the offense has moved the ball, defense able to do their job, and here the special teams unit comes through with their contribution, a field goal to make it 10-zip. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. And this take it in at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Murray. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. 
Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. So the completion results there in nine yards. And third and eight now. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss. And they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. And we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. At least this time he's getting hit after a positive play for his offense. The pressure was coming through yet again, but he certainly didn't stick around for the sack on this occasion. Found an escape route and ended up getting the first down before taking the hit. On first and ten is Connor. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him. But don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. And nobody leaked. Big play. Right back to Connor here on first. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Second down and four. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. 10-0 to score after one on EA Sports. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Offensive linemen are famous for doing their job no matter who's carrying the ball. But when they have the confidence that the person carrying it can break off big-time runs, that makes them block just a little bit harder. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Second and ten. From the gun, Murray. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. They give him ten that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Murray now to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Rondell Moore, a five-yard touchdown. And the Cardinals are back within a score. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. 
That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Extra point good by Prater, and that'll cut it to three and 10-7. Touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The San Francisco's offense returns to the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. 40 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. first down it's a gain of six that time on third and two and defensively they were in zone coverage there do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone yeah you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up i think it's a good point you just brought up so maybe if you still want to play zone you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defense now a diving effort right sideline he's got it and he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 13 yards there and a nighter first. Hey, did you have one of those backyards that you had one of those like mats or pits like you have for high jumpers? And you know, you had your friends throw the ball and you tried to make the spectacular catches. I didn't need a mat. <laughs> you, you just did it with the ground? Oh, absolutely. That explains your Concrete. toughness. That <laughs> explains your toughness right there because I think the ball comes out and the Cardinals have got it going the other way. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49 yard line. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect... And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. Another grab here for the dynamic Christian McCaffrey. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Now Purdy. to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. Greg George, deep for Arizona. 
And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Throwing now is Murray. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. Murray a give. This is Connor. Takes it to about the 37. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. From the 37, they work on second and six. Here's Murray. That's complete to Michael Wilson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you got to run fast. Of course, you got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. Meanwhile, Murray's throw complete to McBride. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 11 more on that one and another first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Connor up the middle. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32 yard line. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. Murray going to try to throw on third down. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. They sure went against conventional wisdom, calling a pass on third and inches. Had to be thinking to themselves, the defense is going to overcommit against the run. Should be an easy pitch and catch. Didn't turn out that way. Fourth down, Murray off, and the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. This is a 49-yard attempt, right hash. Prater's kick is good, and that will knot us up at 10. So they're content to take the three. Somewhat of a conservative call. They're opting not to go for it on fourth and inches. And that's from a team that you and I know is not usually playing it close to the best. It's a little bit of a surprise that they opted for the three instead of going for it. as the kicks away. 
And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. And San Francisco gets set to go here. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Purdy to throw it on first down. A quick throw there is incomplete. Basically, you're not going to outwork two guys very often. Double coverage. I thought he was going to go somewhere else with the football. I get it. That's a stud wide receiver. You want to try to get him the football. Yeah, sometimes you rely on him a bit too much. You forget the other options that are out there. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Purdy looking to throw. That ball nearly intercepted. The rookie had his hands on it, but couldn't pull it in. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Buda Baker, the safety, he gets in from the secondary for the sack. How about that? Well, the so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. On the return, Dorch. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And the Cards will take over first and ten. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you, you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. They run behind center with Connor. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. To throw is Murray. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. So he went out of the pocket left, and then things got dicey. And what often happens is when they get outside, they want to keep their eyes downfield in order to try and complete a pass. But when they try to make a play, they've got to get their footwork involved. And that can really mess them up as well. And in this case, nothing went right, and the ball got knocked free. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and a yard. Purdy off the play fake. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, OK, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. 
And he'll take this forward for about five as we have come upon the two-minute warning. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's second down. Here's Purdy. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver, separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Shotgun now with Purdy. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a Niners first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown. Christian McCaffrey. An 11-yard touchdown. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Well, CD, you know he's got great options at wide receiver tight end, but there he looks to the backfield, and it results in a touchdown. I love how you laid that out. So many options. You maybe forget about some of the ones that you should be covering, and they made them pay with that one, didn't they? You forget about the guys in the backfield? They're eligible, too. Moody good with the extra point, and that makes it a 17-10 score. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And Greg Dorch now to return it. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Cardinals got to go quickly, hustling to the line. Play action. Now it's Murray. And that's incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. To throw, it's Murray. Pass taken in by his big tight end. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Murray now on first down. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Again, they'll throw with Murray. He's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. I did like his decision-making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. 
Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Marco Wilson, the one to bring him down. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting 49ers on top. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, back to you two in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando in our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, this Coach, has certainly been a fun yeah, one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle. What's been a we have not been disappointed. Battle to this this point. is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. Touchdown is the difference, 17-10 our score, and we are back underway on EA Sports. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. From the gun, a give to Connor. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 71 yards rushing now for Connor and a first down. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. A beautiful fake. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Again, a run with Connor. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Fred Warner, the all-pro linebacker, there on the stop. A 4-3 defense there did its job, funneled things right to the middle linebacker. If they do a nice job of playing team defense, everyone takes care of their responsibilities. That allows that guy in the middle to do his job, which is search and destroy. Murray's throw here into the hands of Moore. It past the 30, almost to the 25. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. 
On play action, it's Murray on the move to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Javon Hargrave able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. This defense, they just continue to feast. Five sacks now as a unit. It's been quite an afternoon getting to the quarterback. And we're seeing it come from a variety of places as well. Sometimes just the guys up front getting to them. Other times you add extra guys rushing. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Nick Bosa picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Well, that last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot, third and long. He'll look to throw. Being chased out left. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. He'll get 17 back there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play. And he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it. And he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. Prater's kick is good. And that will cut this lead back down to four now at 17-13. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 22. He'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Purdy's throw taken in by Samuel. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Purdy now on second down. Back to Debo Samuel for consecutive catches. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And a six-yard game gets him right around the 43. Taken down at the 43-yard line. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. 78 yards now for McCaffrey. It's a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and handling a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Play action. Now Purdy. And this is caught. Jennings. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 
25 yards that time. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Let him go by a little too easily there. Well, that's what we saw on film, isn't it? His head goes down oftentimes when he goes to punch when he's trying to block. And when you do that, you can't see your target. He went right past him and made the play. Again, McCaffrey. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It'll be a gain of 4, but it'll bring us now to a third and goal. Well, if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it, but don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. They'll look to throw on third and goal. That'll be caught by Ayuk. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab. Jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Moody good with the extra point. And that pushes the lead up to 11. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. You can't give some credit. They're able to hop up in the air and bat that one away. And that's frustrating for an offensive lineman because the only recourse is when he goes in the air to try and give him some type of a pop or a shove, hoping to bring his arms down. On second down, Connor looking for space. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. Well, let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked-off linebacker. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. Nick Bosa giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Fielded at about the 28. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. We've seen him be good so far. He's hoping to continue that trend here in quarter number three. And typically when you see guys running it this well, they see the game in slow motion, don't they? They see the cuts happen. They see the blocks happen. They feel really good about their vision. And then they use their legs to find that open space. And he's had some good help up front to boot. Here's second and three. A 
throwing here, Purdy. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. On third down, here's Purdy. And this is going to be incomplete. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 18. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Force the ball free, and it's second down. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps, and soon. Phoenix, Arizona is the spot. Glad to have you along for the ride. Third quarter action, and a second and 10 upcoming. Here's a handoff to Connor, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. When you're lateral to the line of scrimmage, linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down, but when it's time to go, turn your shoulders just like a running back. Get through the line and hit the runner in the backfield. Now Murray. And he's going to be blocked at his own six-yard line. Chase Young able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. That's his second sack of the game in the best defensive ends. They do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now a fair catch is called for and taken a few yards across midfield. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Purdy now to throw. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Now Purdy. Flush to his right. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. And yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL 
on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. Second and six. It's 49er football here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. Now Purdy with a throw that's caught by Samuel. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 16. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. And returns it right back to Samuel. And the Niners are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Purdy. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Line of scrimmage, again the four yard line, second and goal. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. McCaffrey. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brent, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now, and here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice... And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Juwan Jennings from a yard out. And the 49ers have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. The ball on the 32, it's second and two. Shotgun now from Murray. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. From the gun, Murray. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Well, you can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. Murray now on first down. 
And his throw here is incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Here's second and ten. Throwing again, Murray. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Throwing now is Murray. Over the middle here to Wilson. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Second down, Murray sets to throw. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Murray to Moore for the Cardinal first. Cardinals first down. First and 10 at the 37 yard line. Back to throw again. And they'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. That's another Cardinals. First and 10 at the 20 yard line. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front that was prepared for him to try and take off. So from the 17, here's second and seven. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. Probably wishing that they could have had a few runs like that earlier in the game now facing this deficit in the fourth. Hard to criticize a run of that magnitude, but they really need those types of runs to go the distance and need bigger plays to try and get back into this one. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Not the first and goal play they drew up. Multiple defenders in to bring him down to the ground. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. Got his tight end, that's complete. That's Higgins. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Buying time to his filling the pressure here and taking down a sack back at the seven. Only a three-yard loss there on the sack, but more importantly, it leads to a fourth and goal. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now, and if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Foul, the defense. So obviously they will decline the penalty there and the result is six points. Prater on and the extra point. Oh 
And that one makes this an 11 point deficit now. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. That's complete out left to Ayuk. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Here's Samuel. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. He's taking the gut, McCaffrey, and he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Partner, I know my grade school teachers never would believe this, but I can absorb a lesson. I think there's a lesson in this one. He's having a great day running the football, but occasionally they're going to find a way to stop you, aren't they? Yeah, this time the defense stepped up and what's been so far a tough game for them. They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey, and he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone otherwise you bring him into the play and that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away and here comes Dorch on the return it's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards and they will take over first and ten Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense down by 11, a minute 47 on the clock. They need a touchdown with a two-point conversion and a field goal in either order as they've got it first down. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Well, this defense has been physical all game long, and it certainly looks like they're not going to back off and make things any easier. They want to keep making life miserable for the receivers all the way to the end. Murray going to throw. And this one is incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And that is incomplete. 
That means there's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Here we go. This is fourth down. Now Murray's got to have this one. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. The 49ers ready to set up shop again offensively. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. This is McCaffrey on the give. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with a minute 25 left to go in the contest. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. Now the Cards going to call another timeout. Their second as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. on that field but this is a big play third and goal Purdy will set up to throw it here that'll be caught by Ayuk touchdown 49ers 10 yards on the touchdown pass and the 49ers have opened up a three score lead as they pull away here in the fourth and this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. Moody good with the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Now they got to get to the line quickly. On first and ten, here's Murray. He's going to let it fly. This is caught inside the 15. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Well, part, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Throwing on first down is Murray. 
This will be caught once again by Brown. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long and sign off from the desert.